Warm greetings from Vedavyasa Institute of Technology. I am Saumya K, Assistant Professor, Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department. I am going to talk about ocean energy. It is one of the renewable energy. Ocean thermal energy conversion is a new technology needed to be harnessed especially in India where the coastline is about 6000 km. Otec converts thermal energy available due to the temperature difference between the warm surface and water, the cold deep water into electricity. Otec utilizes the world largest solar radiation collector. So the overall potential of ocean energy in the country may be in excess of 50,000 megawatt. These are the energy from the oceans. The different forms of energy from the oceans are first one is an hydropower. Solar heating evaporates water from the surface of the oceans from clouds, condenses as a rain, falls over land, causes river to flow to feed dams that generate electricity. This is the hydropower. The second one is a wave energy. Wave energy means winds generate large ocean waves that can be used to generate power from its potential and kinetic energy. This is a wave energy. And the third one is ocean temperature energy conversion or tech. Temperature different gradation between the surface and the bottom of the ocean can be utilized in a heat engine to generate power. This is a OTEC ocean temperature energy conversion. The last one is a tidal energy. Tidal energy means <coughs> it is caused by lunar and solar gravitational forces acting together with that from the earth on the ocean waters to create tidal flows ma manifested by the rise and fall of water that vary daily and seasonally from a few centimeters up to 8 to 10 meters in some parts of the world. The potential energy of the tides is tapped to generate power. These are the different forms of energy from the ocean. The principle of OTEC system includes the plan working on the principle of Rankine cycle. The term Rankine cycle. Solar heat energy is absorbed by ocean water. Lambert's law of absorption which means that each water layer of identical thickness absorbs an equal fraction of light that passes through it. The intensity of heat decreases with the increase in water depth. Warm water is used to evaporate working fluid like ammonia or halo carbon refrigerant. Evaporated fluid expands in a low pressure turbine which is coupled with a turbo alternator to produce electricity. This is a graphical representation of distance from the water surface and water temperature in degree Celsius. The site selection criteria of OTEC power plant. <coughs> the first one is temperature difference between surface and deep ocean water. Second one is best sites are in a topical belt between about 200 degree north and 200 degree south latitude. <coughs> Third one is locations were less biofouling. Fourth one is OTEC plant would be located offshore in order to access to deep water. Plant should be less than 30 km from the shore. And the last point, electricity generated could be transmitted inexpensively to land by submarines. These are the site selection criteria of OTEC power plant. <coughs> the types of OTEC systems. There have a three types of OTEC systems. First one is open or clode OTEC cycle power plant. Second one is a closed or Anderson OTEC cycle power plant. Third one is a hybrid cycle OTEC power plant. These are the three types of OTEC systems. First one is a open cycle Claude cycle OTEC system. The open cycle consists of the following types. Flash evaporation of the fraction of the warm water sea water by reduction of pressure below the saturation value corresponding to its temperature. Expansion of the vapor through a turbine generate power. Heat transfer to the cold seawater thermal sink resulting in the condensation of the working fluid and the compression of the non-condensable gases to pressure required to discharge them from the system. In the case of a surface condenser, the conden uh, it conden uh, condensed or desalinated water must be condensed. This is the open cycle or clodide cycle or the second one is a closed cycle or Anderson cycle or tech system. The working fluid such as ammonia vaporizes in an evaporator. The gas is led through a turbine which drives a generator and in turn generate electrical power. 
A condenser is used to return the fluid to its original state and using a pump the process is repeated. Surface seawater is used to heat the fluid in an evaporator and deep seawater cools it down to liquid state in the condenser. During the process, the surface seawater returns to the sea become a few degrees Celsius cooler and the deep seawater a few degrees Celsius warm than previously. This is the closed cycle or Anderson cycle or tech system. The last hybrid cycle or tech system. The hybrid cycle combines the best characteristics of the open cycle and closed cycle and the drinkable water generation capabilities of open cycle with the potential for large electricity production capabilities offered by the closed cycle. In this cycle, warm seawater enters a vacuum chamber where it is flash evaporated. After that, this seams arrives a heat exchanger where it will have the role of a warm fluid and will use to warm the working fluid which works in a closed loop. Usually ammonia is used as a working fluid because it has a good tra transport properties, it is easily available and it is low cost fluid. An interesting part of the process that a water evaporates, it leaves behind all the impurities and salt so the consequent steam is drinkable. Once heated, the ev heated and evaporated, the working fluid uh, vapor flows through the closed cycle power loop. At this point, the ammonia is used to turn a turbine that is connected to the electricity generator supplying customers with the electric power. After that, ammonia is condensed using cold seawater from the deepest ocean water. This is the hybrid OTEC system. This is one of the OTEC power plant in Hawaii. And the biofouling, the term biofouling is the undesirable accumulation of microorganisms, plants, algae and or animals on wetted structures. Marine and freshwater biofouling is one of the major unsolved problems currently affecting the shipping industry and industrial aquatic processes. Marine biofouling commonly refers to the adverse growth of marine organisms in an immersed artificial structures such as ship hulls, jetty pilings, navigational instruments, Aquaticture, uh, aquaculture net gauges and seawater in a taking pipes. This is a bio. This is a pictorial representation of bio. Biofouling in heat exchangers. Deposition and growth of microorganisms on cooling water side of condenser heat exchanger. Less if copper is used. It can be dealt with by using chlorination or using mechanical pressures. Increasing flow rate of water can be adv uh, dangerous, advantageous. Organisms will not attach with a chain. This is a biofouling in heat exchange. The advantages and disadvantages of water system. First one is advantage. Once you will build it, it, it then clean uh, ocean power is free. No greenhouse effect is created. No fuel requirements. No any solid waste management problem. Reduces auxiliary equipment, cooling tower, preheater, boiler, etc. Economical production cost use as a base power plant. This is the advantages of Fortec power system. Going to the disadvantages, one of the disadvantages effect on marine ecosystem. As a clean wave uh, energy, it is still creates hazards for some of the animal near it. Second one is suitable to certain locations. The biggest disadvantage to getting your energy from the wave location. Only power plants and town towns near the ocean will benefit directly from it. These are the advantages and disadvantages of ocean thermal energy conversion system.